Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The Red Sox are now just two games away from the World Series. Boston leads the Houston Astros two games to one in the ALCS, and their bats have led the way. Last night, Kyle Schwarber crushed the team's third Grand Slam in just the last two games. The Sox cruising to a 12-3 victory. Game four tonight at 8 o'clock at Fenway. The state's commissioner of Department of Elementary and, and Secondary Education, or DESE, says he'll announce next week whether or not the mask mandate in public schools will extend beyond the November 1st deadline. The mandate has been in effect since August 24th. Schools with a population of 80% or more who are vaccinated can apply for a waiver to lift the mandate. Commissioner Jeff Riley says so far four schools have been approved to drop the requirement. And now to South Hadley where students were evacuated from Piner Valley Performing Arts School this morning due to the smell of gas. According to South Hadley fire officials, a staff member reported the smell of natural gas near that school's main stage theater just before 930. We've learned students were allowed to return to the building late this morning after it was deemed safe. Still no word, though, on the exact cause or source of that odor. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. It is still on the breezy side early this evening, but wind will continue to lighten up not long after the sun goes down. Skies remain mostly clear, but temperatures not nearly as cool tonight, with lows falling back into the 40s to even near 50 in spots. We'll keep a light breeze overnight, but overall just a warmer air mass coming into the area, and that's going to linger through the end of the week. For your Wednesday, a mix of sunshine and clouds. It'll be a bit breezy, but not quite as blustery as Tuesday. We'll still have wind anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles an hour through the afternoon. Uh, and temperatures will be back to the low 70s, so unseasonably warm for Wednesday. That trend looks to continue into Thursday as well. Surface high pressure dominating our forecast. But a cold front is going to come through Thursday night, bringing the chance for a few isolated showers. And then for Friday, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds and a bit of a breeze. And then cooler temperatures will follow as we head toward the weekend weekend. As far as your forecast, it is looking like temperatures will be back into the 60s by Friday and 50s for the weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.